On Wednesday, gossip started spreading through Dixon. Well, it began as a rumor. Um, there was a rumor that she was going to be released and that she had been released. Well, the only reason we knew it all is because the rumors started around town. The rumor? Rita Cronwell, the disgraced former city comptroller, was released early from federal prison. You know, it wasn't until the city manager was able to get a hold of an official actually at the Federal Correctional Institute in Pekin who said, yes, she's been released earlier in the day. That's how we found out. You know, we, we, wouldn't, we still haven't even been officially notified. Cronwell served eight years of an almost 20-year sentence for the largest theft of public money in U.S. history. She stole nearly $54 million from the city of Dixon over a span of decades. The, the understanding was that these sentences are issued uh, in federal court and they have to serve 85% of that sentence. She was nowhere near 85% of the sentence. And so I, I think it's you know, people feel like it's, you know, it's, this wasn't the, the final days of her sentence or this wasn't some minor change to uh, a release date. This was really significant, well under half of the overall sentence served. While Cronwell had made a request to be released last year, she ultimately withdrew it. But city leaders say this time her proceedings stayed internal within the prison system, leaving more questions than answers. The people in the city of Dixon, I, I know many are asking, you know, why was this decision made and why was the city not consulted? It stole five to 10 years worth of combined finances over those 20 years from Dixon, stole a lot of quality of life, jobs were changed or lost. There were huge impacts. But the city's mayor says what's done is done. Our goal is to try to get a little more information so we can do our job of informing our public. And then we're going to get right back to work on, you know, dealing with the pandemic and successfully bringing Dixon out of that like other municipalities and keep building on our quality of life. So while the announcement may sting for many in Dixon, leaders say it's time to leave this piece of history in the city's rearview mirror. For your 13 Weather Authority, Mary Sugden, 13 News.